Tonight, police are releasing new details on a deadly SWAT standoff that happened at a Del Cerro motel last week. We first brought you this breaking news story Friday night. A man barricaded himself inside a Days Inn, and a police dog was deployed to subdue the suspect, who's now been identified as 28-year-old Oweri Bacon Jr. Now, in the process, police say he stabbed the dog named Hondo, who's expected to survive. Inside the motel room, a woman was found dead. She's been identified as 31-year-old Chantal. Taya Brown. Both the suspect and the victim are from San Bernardino. Bacon is facing multiple charges, including murder. He appeared before a judge today, and our Zara Barker was in the courtroom to break down what happened. 28-year-old Oweri Bacon, potentially facing the death penalty, appeared in court Wednesday for the first time. He's accused of instigating a SWAT standoff at this Days Inn Motel in the Del Cerro neighborhood on Friday. Bacon was set to be arraigned Wednesday, but the criminal proceedings were suspended as his attorney claimed he was not competent to appear for this arraignment. He will now be evaluated by a psychologist. I don't feel um, as though Mr. Bacon can assist me with his defense and understands his ability um, of the case. During Friday incident, police sent in a canine named Hondo. Bacon stabbed him several times, but the canine is expected to live. One officer was hurt as Bacon was taken into custody. When officers went into the hotel room, they found a woman's body inside. We have been in touch with the victim's family. Um, you can only imagine how they're feeling. Bacon faces five counts of assault with a deadly weapon for five separate victims, an animal cruelty charge, and he's also charged with murder with a special circumstance of torture. Charge of special circumstance of torture requires that there be in addition to the murder that there is some form of extreme uh, the intent to inflict extreme pain and suffering because of that special circumstance this could become a capital case and could mean the death penalty charging a special circumstance our office takes very seriously and there are uh, procedures that are set in place in the times that we do charge a special circumstance. And uh, no, we do not make a determination as to whether to seek life without the possibility of parole or death without many procedures being followed beforehand. Um, and that is a decision that is made by our district attorney. Bacon will now undergo those evaluations and is scheduled to be back in court in December. The victim's family was also in the courtroom this afternoon, but they declined talking with the media. Reporting downtown, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.